so as many of you guys know, I absolutely love dead card games. I actually collect Inuyasha, which has been dead for 20, 25 years. I collect Meta X, which has been dead for probably 10 years, 7 years. I collect uh, even Fire Emblem Cypher, which has been dead for 4 or 5 years now. And the reason I like collecting them is because it's just fun. I like the lore. I like the brand. I've never seen any dead card game being thrown out like Meta Zoo. So Nick Strength in Pokemon, he was sent this image, and it is clearly an image of eight pallets, sealed, by the way, of Meta Zoo being thrown in a dumpster. Now, that's really, really disrespect for Meta Zoo. Sealed Meta Zoo pallets found in the dumpster, it's worse than we thought. So, I... I mean, the, the people who have bought these pallets, uh, there's speculation that it is the owners of MetaZoo. I don't think so, because I would hope the owners, via their website and so on, they could sell it or even give it for a heavy, heavy discount, and there would be buyers for it. That's what I would hope. Um, I'm not sure if that is true or not, but that's what I would hope, right? I would hope that the owners of MetaZoo would not treat their product in such a distasteful way that they could at least pay the storage to upkeep the image that the product has value for their diehard loyalist, right? That's what I would hope, but who knows, right? Now, back to kind of the scenario at hand and something that I really do want to talk about is how did this happen? Like, how do we get from some of the biggest influencers like Alpha Investments, like Sports Card Investor, like Steve Aoki, um, and many more, um, Bailey and, and Argos? And how do we get to the point that these MetaZoo pallets, and again, I, I don't think this is fake. I, I don't think anyone thinks it's fake. I think this is, you know, there is a disagreement. I think it might be a single person or a single investor or a single business that just bought too much of it. I just cannot see MetaZoo doing this because it's such a bad look. Now, we know MetaZoo has done dumb stuff in the past. Um, I think we can all agree to that. But this look that MetaZoo has is just so bad, you know, it's and, and so baffling why they would want to do this. Because in reality, it just, you know, it basically says we give up, we're done, we tap out. Like, literally, we are not going to hold inventory of our own product because we don't believe anyone wants it. And what does this do to the secondary market? Well, it depends, right? Um, the person taking the picture, again, there's speculation that may not be the same individual. Maybe this person just goes home and tries to sell them for $5 a box because, hey, I got it for free. And I have a lot of box. I think you could sell this. But if you dump it all on the market at one time, like Argos Anonymous, like how much could a box go for? Probably not that much, right? Because you're dumping so much of it at the same time. And in all honesty, and the reality of the situation is very dire for MetaZoo. Um, there was talks that they would pick up new investors and new things were in the works and Bandai was going to save them. I think you can confirm that that's no longer true. And the reality of MetaZoo is the reality of a... But, like, even for a dead card game, there is desire for it. You know, there is actual people buying the, the dead card games even today. So I don't feel like these should belong in dumps. It's a card game. And at one point in time, I mean, for, if the price is right and the price here is free which is almost always the right price for anything um, or a good price for anything, why not take them and see what you can do? I, I don't get it. Why don't you, you know, sell it, give it to some stores for free? Like, whatever it is, it's better than the, the visual of it being dumped in a trash can, regardless of who is dumping it in a trash can. If it's MetaZoo themselves, if it's somebody else, right? I don't know. Um interesting enough right it, it's definitely a very interesting concept and something that i would say is yeah i've never seen it before 
I, I, I wish like, you know, people were dumping in Yasha or Meta X or any of these products, but they go to Dave and Adams and then Dave and Adams sells them for like five, like, you know, very cheap to offload them. Like there is somebody, their name is Dave and Adams that will buy this shit and then offload it for a very small margin, right? Like you could sell half a pallet, a quarter of a pallet for a good, I assume a good amount of money, even after shipping and fees. And, and nonetheless, even as a opportunity, I, I think it's interesting. For me, it is because let's say storage fees cost $5,000 for two years to hold eight pallets. I think it's still fascinating because your your bet is especially, especially, you know, you got to transport it. You got to hire a forklift driver, certified forklift driver. There, there's some cost in it, but let's say the cost, let's say you find this in the garbage can, it's eight pallets. Let's say it's the worst set. It's one of these like UFO sets or whatever, right? And so it's like $20, like it's still worth it in my opinion to just hold it in storage. Maybe you do have to stack it on top of each other. And um, I mean, it, it, why would you not take the flyer on this product, right? It's, oh, also these are the $1,000 or the $10,000 boxes. They're not doing uh, so well anymore, as uh, you can see it. But there's some, I mean, there's people buying it, right? There are people buying it. Um, you know, give them credit for having some sort of liquidity, especially in the high end, which is not always super, super easy to do, right? But hey, give them some credit where credit is due. Um, I would, again, probably say that this is a new all-time low for any card game. Even a dead card game, and some people argue it's not a dead card game. It's an all-time low, for sure. Like, when people start dumping, like, people really made fun of Magic the Gathering for dumping their cards, but they weren't pallets of shit. They might have just been factory errors, or they, you know, maybe, it could even came, like, it wasn't this much of it in one place. And I am a little skeptical of the individual making those posts, right? Because, again, it wasn't, like, a bunch of them. It was um, just scattered and so on. This is legit eight pallets sealed. And, and those booster boxes were not sealed. They, they, they were like crushed and they were single cards. And it's a very different uh, type of look and behavior than this one is. So back to my initial assessment as to like why this is so intriguing to me personally. If a card game is cheap enough, it's just fun to open packs. It's just fun to open packs. It's just fun to collect. And I think Meta Zoo, I mean, what, where can it go from here? Like, is there anywhere it can go from here? You know, is there anywhere that it can go? I don't... Like, could it go more down than a dumpster? <laughs> no, the answer is no. And that's why it makes it an interesting idea for... Uh, I don't know. I mean, if somebody came with me and was like, hey, I got this stuff, I would probably bite. Anyway, let me know what you guys would do. Would you guys take these MetaZoo pallets or would you leave them in the dumpster? It's a good question. Anyway, bye guys.